Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to use bulk upload files to update your min and max price. So why use bulk uploads? While most users prefer to enter min and max price on the managed listings page where we have the calculator and the bulk actions, some users may already have their own spreadsheets or inventory software that calculates min or max for them. So to get started, first thing is you go to upload file. Next, once you're on the screen, click on full template to download the list of your SKUs. If you already entered cost, rule, min, and max price info, it will already show up in the template. I've already downloaded it, so let's go ahead and open it up. So you can see here, it's a list of all your SKUs and any data that you have. Okay, back to here. Next, let's download the blank template. This is what you will actually be uploading to Be Cool. So I've already downloaded that as well. Let's open it up. So here is the blank template. Uh, down here, you see these tabs. Uh, the first three tabs, instructions, data definitions, and repricing sample, those just go over instructions and the correct format and, and the required data that you need. The last tab, repricing central file, this one is actually where uh, you will enter all of the information that will be uploaded into Be Cool. So let's go back into the listing file and let's select a few listings, maybe about 10. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That looks good. Copy that. Paste. Okay, so now we have our listings data. Okay, now we're going to open up the next file that already has our min price, max price, and rule prepared. So I'm going to copy that. Copy. Back here. Copy max price. Paste. Okay, and last one is rule. Gotta have a rule. Paste. Okay. So min, max, price, and rule, that's the required info. Let's take a look at the other tabs. Those are all optional. Cost, that's optional. Shipping price, that's optional. Add or delete, uh, by default, all of this data will be added, but if you put a D right here, uh, the data, the min, max, and rule will be deleted. So be careful uh, if you put a D right here. Uh, you can assign these uh, listings to a group if you'd like. And the last column is whether you want uh, the listings to be repricing enabled or repricing paused. Zero is repricing paused. So uh, if we want to enable it, let's change that to a one. Okay, let's make these all one. So when uh, these are, listings are uploaded, uh, they will be repricing enabled. Okay, um, so next step is make sure all of the uh, formatting in this file looks okay. Uh, make sure there's no weird symbols or dollar signs anywhere that will mess up the upload. So I think everything looks okay. So let's go ahead and save this as a .txt file. Okay, it's already selected. Is that tab delimited text .txt? Save that. Okay, save. Continue. Okay. okay. Let's minimize that. Minimize that. Minimize this. Okay. So let's choose the file to upload. Repricing central file. There's two of them. This is the .txt. Open that. Choose upload now. Okay, wait for it. Okay. All right, so uh, it is now processing. You'll see that it says pending. Uh, please give it five or 10 minutes, depending on how many listings info you have to be updated. 
And when it's done, you can go back to the Manage Listings page and you can see all of the updated info. All right, so that's all for this video and thanks for watching.